Attention, be very careful with the plants that I am going to explain in this video because they can be toxic, poisonous, or even deadly for rabbits. You know, just like me, that the rabbit, especially the domestic rabbit, is a tremendously voracious animal, that if it sees plants around your house, well, the normal, the understandable thing is that it also wants to eat them. And as I am going to explain to you, many of these plants can be, in some cases, tremendously dangerous. First of all, we have the bait. The bait is everything that is dangerous for the rabbit. The leaves, the seeds, the fruits, everything, absolutely everything. If it eats a small amount, what is going to happen is that, well, the rabbit will have vomiting, diarrhea, general discomfort, etc. But if it gets a bite, the animal can even get into shock, eat, and die. Then we have the Adelphs. If the Adelphs are ingested by the rabbit, they will initially cause a very important fever. You are going to see that it has a lot of fever. At the same time, it can manifest heart disorders and even important respiratory difficulties. So, if it is a rabbit, perhaps of an advanced age, it can even lead to death. Another plant, especially toxic, is the amaryllis. The amaryllis is very dangerous for its bulbs. The rest of the plant, well, does not have much repercussion. But the bulb can give rabbits convulsions if they ingest it in quantities, even if they are very small. Another plant that is very toxic is the aconite. The aconite is a plant that many people usually have at home, and that merely by contact is already toxic for the rabbit. Simply by touching it. Another tremendously toxic and dangerous plant is the Easter flower. Here it happens a bit like the cat. In the case of the cat, I explained it to you up here in this video. It is a plant that causes, when ingested, as it is a plant that has a very corrosive latex, wounds, ulcerations, etc., both in the oral mucosa and in the rest of the skin, simply by contact. Then we have the ivy, a tremendously common plant in any garden. Simply by letting the rabbit touch, look at what I'm telling you, the hairs of the ivy, it can generate a very important dermatitis. The rabbit is tremendously allergic to the hairs of the ivy. The lilies, something tremendously common in any home, makes the rabbit a very toxic plant. It does not produce the effects that we have seen in the previous plants, but it can generate a very important abdominal pain, which makes the rabbit eat absolutely nothing for several days. And this, this lack of food intake, can be tremendously deadly in the rabbit. The bite, that plant that is especially so common at Christmas, that we use so much to decorate our houses, because it turns out that the rabbit is very attracted to it, because it reminds him a lot of fresh grass, but it is a plant with very hallucinogenic components for the rabbit. As soon as he ingests a little bit of bite, you notice that his pupils dilate a lot, that he has asphyxia, a lot of thirst, convulsions, and finally he can even manifest a total paralysis. Narcissus, all, all species of Narcissus are toxic to rabbits. A toxicity that is going to manifest, especially in the form of vomiting and diarrhea. And finally, the pothos, that plant so extremely common in Spanish houses, because it is also very poisonous for any rabbit. In fact, as soon as you ingest it, it causes strong irritations in the back of the rabbit's palate. And from there, digestive problems, whatever you want. Okay. Well, nothing else. Thank you very much and see you in the next videos. Take care, bye. Oh.